All right, at the next service call, a little after 12, customer's complaint is heat won't turn off. So I had him turn off the emergency switch and I shut it down. Let's see what's going on. Hi. Follow me, come on in. I, I saw please knock b b after I rang the doorbell. It's okay, no, the doorbell's not working properly. Oh, okay. Tell me what's going on. Saturday, uh, seventy nine. Okay. So we lowered it. Okay. Sixty. You know, we it just there was then it was eighty. Okay. It would not lower no matter what we did. So finally, well, you said to shut it off. Yeah. Downstairs. We shut off the thermostat. It didn't help. Okay. So you turned it off downstairs. So and my son spoke to you. The furnace is off. Okay. That's the way we left it. All right. We'll see what's going on. Okay. Thank you. Both zones are calling. Why are both zones calling? Instantly came on, actually. dead. I bet you the stone valve is stuck. All right, let's go get the tools. All right. <clears throat> what about myself in here? Let's see. What do we see? Do we see? There's the... She's stuck. But I can't... I can't see. Shot. Yeah. All right. All right. Got a new zone valve. We're going to swap out that head. Easy peasy. this in the manual open position and I'm going to use my Weeha flat screwdriver just like that okay
Okay. Now, let's get that screw. All right. And now that's secure, if you want, we could disengage the manual open. And you see, now she's normal. So, see, hear that motor? With the spring and the lever. Okay. And the way this works, I'll tell you right now. Here's the old one. All right. And if you look inside here, let's see if I can show you. Feed the people. Okay. If you look inside here, you're going to see that. There's this thing. So, see that little brass thing moving up? All right, when there's a call for heat from the thermostat, the motor energizes and causes the motor to spin that and it pushes against this little black nipple right there. Right there. Now, I'm going to show you something. Turn the boiler on real quick. Boiler, boiler's powered, right? Watch this. See that? That's the end switch. So when this, there must be a thermostat on. Yeah, the other thermostat is on. Talk about some carbonization of this boiler. All right, now I'm gonna try to deal with that. <laughs> yep, let's see how we're gonna deal with this mess. Let's see. I'm feed the you guys are hungry. And I'm going to feed you. Because that's my job. Alright. Let's move that off to the side for right now. Now. We have. Literally. Alright. Interrupted by a phone call again. Alright, let's trace these things out. The problem is, let me show you what my problem is. My problem is the gas pipe right here in very limited room. Alright, so I'm doing my best, guys. Doing my best. Get you down right there. Okay. Uh, I might as well get in there. Alright. These two. Oh, look at this shit. See this? One of the reasons why I absolutely hate, absolutely hate zone valves. Because it could, you could always put lipstick on a pig, but still a pig. All right. So here's one, and there's the other. Let me show you what I'm gonna do and clean this up a little bit. Make it nicer. All right. Uh, hello? Is it me? Looking for I get the way go. All right, that's gonna be one. And uh, let's see. You know what? I might as well make these short because I'll be so long.
This is why I love Legos. Okay. A little bit too long. Let's shorten it up a little bit. Okay. Stick you in there. Okay. Where'd that little go? There it is. Okay. Now, I'll give you some info. The red wires are the end switch. And when you have a call for heating, basically these two wires, you know, close out TT. That's the easiest way I can explain it. So like, for example, let's look at this mess over here, right? not mess this up all right I gotta connect my two red wires to that and I don't need a couple wire nuts because I don't have three three wago holder thingy all right wire nuts now effing mess here I can't even get in there but I'm in a very, very uncomfortable position inside this thing. Okay, so here's one. Uh, it's not fun. It's not. And my arms aren't long enough to, to do anything. And they could have moved it over a little bit. You see how much easier it is working with the Wago. You don't gotta deal with this nonsense. And they're reusable, the Wagos. Okay. There's a new zone valve, second floor. That's the one for the first floor. Cover on the pig.
open it, see? And the other one's closed. This boiler's a beast. All right, let me ask them to turn off the ground floor thermostat. Excuse me. Yeah. Can you turn off the thermostat down here on the, the ground floor? Let me see. If it's, it does. It, it's a. It's like a dial. There's no on and off switch. Can you lower it all the way to the coldest setting. Yeah. Okay. I'll do that for you right now. All right. Thank you. Okay. And she turned off, and now you see there's resistance. There. See resistance. Let's have him turn on the uh, upstairs thermostat. All right, can you now uh, raise up the temperature upstairs for heat? What, what do you want me to put it on? Warmer than it is up there right now, so I can test it. There's two thermostats. You can do it on it's it's, the, it's the one in the dining room. The one in the dining room, put it up to like 80? Well, if it's 70, raise it to 72. All right. Okay. As soon as that thermostat closes, we'll lose that resistance. At least we should. We'll hear it, maybe. There may be a delay. Uncut, raw, unedited. There we go. See? So we know that the thermostat now controls the zone valve. Can you hear me? Yep. It says the room temperature is 71. I put it on 75. Perfect. So set, you know, both thermostats where you would like them to be because the job is done and your boiler works. Okay, great. All right, I'll clean up in the garage. Thank you. All right. So thermostat is not calling. That thermostat is not calling. I'm not reinventing the wheel. And as you can see, I utilized the baby Vito for the service call. I need some more Wagos. Let's clean up the mess, build out the service call. And move on to the next.